Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Rebecca, and today I not only have my November bullet journal set up, but my December bullet journal set up as well, and here is the reasoning for that choice. The holidays are a very busy time of year and I need to plan ahead for things like Christmas cards, gift giving, and just like keeping track of secret Santa things and what I have bought, what I still need to buy, what needs to get done, and what hasn't. So I figured I would just do it all at once and then I can have it done and set up and ready for all the planning I need to do in the next two months. I seriously don't know what happened to October. Like, September was a blur because of our trip and myself not feeling well, and then it, all of a sudden it was October, and it was like, go, go, go. It was like busy every second, and suddenly it's the 8th, of November already like I am so late in setting this up which is partially also why I wanted to do December as well um, because in the next few weeks I'm going to be needing that information anyways isn't that crazy so we're setting ourselves up to have a positive start to the new year is what we're doing and I will actually be starting on my 2024 bullet journal setup very, very soon. So expect to see that come December. I'm not going to be posting that super soon or super early. But yeah, that will be coming up before we know it. So anyway, as you can see, I am working on the November calendar. This is going to be like the main thing for November. I'm using the King Art Fine Liners, which I got in the Art Snacks Ink Collection box, and these worked really, really well. I struggle with fine liners, especially the, I think it's the Sakura Pigma Micron pens because of the felt tips. I think I write with too much pressure, just generally, <laughs> whenever I'm writing and drawing or anything like that so I tend to ruin the tips on these little fine liner markers super super quickly. These ones I have used the entirety of the month of October for the drawing every day challenge that I was doing, the Arts Next Ink aka Inktober but we're not really calling it that anymore um, but for that challenge <laughs> and they're still holding strong so thumbs up so far really enjoying them and will definitely continue to be using those then for all the coloring i am doing i'm just simply using my crayola super tips these are fantastic for bullet journaling um, they just work so well have such a variety of colors and are super super cheap I just saw a kite go by the window. That's a new one for me. I was like, is that a very low flying plane or something? No, it is a child with a kite. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, I just did some simple fall doodles for this. Really keeping it not complicated for this one. I wanted like a quick setup that was functional and clean and got the job done. So we've got some leaves, mushrooms, an acorn, and a somewhat ugly little turkey up there. <laughs> but classic fall and classic fall colors. And for the weeklies, I am keeping it extra extra simple and I am literally just writing the numbers for every day down. And that's probably what I'm going to do for December as well, although for that month I might try to make it a little fancier. I might also try to do a vertical setup, that way I'll have a bit more space to write some to-dos out, because the horizontal doesn't give me a ton of space. Now moving on to December, um, if you're wondering <laughs> where I got the inspo for these spreads are, it is Pinterest. I didn't full-on copy, but I pretty much copied all of these spreads 
from Pinterest, so I will put links below if I remember to do that. I should be able to find them, hopefully. So starting with just the word December, I decided to put it on the left side. Why waste that space when we can put the like monthly title page on the left and a calendar on the right? So I'm just doing some kind of simple, again, simple doodle of mistletoe. And I'm using these kind of muted greens and red like a maroon rather than a super super bright one i do bring in this brighter red for this ribbon but i i don't think it's like overwhelming i didn't want like overwhelming red and green i wanted calm cool collected <laughs> and for this page for the monthly thing i have this ribbon the person who did this design idea on Pinterest used the ribbon for um, their like gifting ideas. And I think that would have been a really cute like concept, but I honestly wanted more space to write down um, the like gift ideas and whatnot, the like to do's that go along with that. So you'll see that I just left that as a header, but I think it worked really well with the calendar because I made it so small. For December, the focus is more so going to be on the to-dos for every day rather than like the calendar overview of events. So I kept the calendar quite small and left more space on the other pages to do other planning things. Also keeping it super simple with just writing this month at the top and using the same green as the mistletoe to do the lines for the calendar. Gonna pull those together a bit more and just numbering everything. Simple, we're keeping things simple and functional. So just adding some highlights to the berries and to the ribbon. Um, I couldn't find my Posca pen, which probably would have done a much better job with this, but you know, this worked out just fine. I should have let the marker dry a little bit more on the ribbon, but it's all right. It's fine. So moving on to the next two pages, which are for Christmas cards and gifting ideas. So... As I said, I just wanted to keep it simple for the gifting ones. You'll see I just did the title at the top and that's about it. But for Christmas cards, I just needed space to write a few to-dos like um, updating people's addresses, picking out the cards themselves because I'm not sure if I want to do photo cards again this year or if I want to just stick with your classic card and I, I know I want to include a couple photos, probably like two photos from our engagement photo shoot that we did in Banff. Um, I think that would be nice to do, especially like for our immediate family, maybe a few more than two, but like for friends and stuff, like one to two pictures. Um, so I don't know that they'll really want to like save those, but like family, you know, <laughs> family is like all over that stuff, like my grandma's and my parents and his parents and whatnot so yeah <laughs> planning all that stuff now um but yeah there's there's a lot that goes into planning christmas cards i have to buy stamps is another thing um and then just i wanted space to write down everybody just so i don't forget who needs cards and i can check it off as i go because it is quite a few people just in our immediate family and then a few friends as well <laughs> But I felt like I had the space for this one to do a bunch of little doodles. This again was an idea I saw on Pinterest and I obviously like made the doodles my own but it was very much so somebody else's idea and I want to make sure that those people are getting the credit they deserve because people are so creative. I feel like I'm not really that creative <laughs> at doing stuff but 
Yeah, I used um, some King Art glitter gel pens on these pages, which I think is fun, especially for the holidays. And I'll probably try to incorporate those into like my weekly planning stuff as well. But yeah, I just did a bunch of doodles of like little cards, postcards, letters, um, a few stars, and some little like green leafy things to kind of tie it all together a bit more. And I'm super happy with how everything turned out, honestly. I think it's cute, it's functional, and it's going to give me a good start to these last two months of the year. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know which page was your favorite, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!